If you are in the right mind, okay. in the right state, uh, you're not lacking anything as a human being, mm -hmm. but you're still single. Mm -hmm. Why? Nobody wanna stay single forever. At least every one of us, we want to be in a relationship that we can be loved, mm -hmm. be appreciated in it. Just make sure that your foundations are right when you're walking into that, if you want it to stay. But if you don't define your foundations, you will only find yourself single. Hello everyone, how are you doing? And of course, I hope you're doing well. Personally, I am and I'm always glad to be here on board with you guys. My name is Martha and I'm your host today. This is Decoding the Process. Karibu sana. I'm also joined with an amazing guest who has been here before and definitely people insisted. They know he has. He has good content and we thought we can do it again so karibu sana you can reintroduce yourself thank you so much mm -hmm. my name is prince namori i'm worship minister and an entrepreneur mm -hmm. yes it's good to be back again good to see you again yeah wow karibu sana Santa. and of course we have talked a lot before but today we want to focus on singlehood definitely most of us we have so many questions, anticipations, we want to get to the next level. Of course, we envision relationships and hopefully um, a family afterwards. So you wonder, why are you still in the same stage? Why are you not able to advance to relationships and, you know, get to, to the next level? So we want to analyze and understand why some of us, eh? some of you, not us, you, <laughs> are still single i'm not single so <laughs> yes some of you are still single so we can start I, I mean um singlehood first of all you can just um tell us how much of a blessing it is because we're not really trying to say that you should not be single mm -hmm. but now maybe tell us the difference between when somebody needs to be single and now when they're ready to get to the next stage that we can now bring in the difference mm -hmm. All right, uh, maybe first to kick it off, nobody is ever single to say. Mm. It's either you are walking out of a heartbreak, it's either you are healing, mm. or you are hurting. It, well, when we were putting up this, mm -hmm. and I just kept on thinking, like, who is ever single, really? Somebody who never dated. Because... <laughs> like, there are people who haven't dated. <laughs> uh, well... That's why, like, now we can discuss that. Why some people... Mm. Really? Someone has never dated? There's, there, there's some. Maybe they're still in their preliminary stages of life. Yeah. Maybe they're 20 and they still haven't thought of dating. Ah, okay. Oh, of course. Mm. Uh, that one is... Uh, that, uh, that one is... Uh, but I think myself, I was focusing on, like, you are due. Like, you have potentials of all it takes for you to be in a working and good relationship mm -hmm. but somehow you just find yourself you're single <laughs> so i always say like really yeah singlehood is not a curse mm. and then the fact that you are single doesn't mean there's something lacking in your life mm. but we all know in a society you know we have all these mentality that if she's single if he's single mm. like there's an age when a man or a woman gets and then you're still single there's a question society begins to ask mm. are you okay mm. And yeah. then I think that's where, like, for me, I was just, like, measuring into that. Yeah. Like, mm. if you are in the right mind, mm -hmm. in the right state, uh, you're not lacking anything as a human being, mm. but you're still single. Mm -hmm. Why? That's the question, like, like why are you single? Mm -hmm. And you go, all it takes, on the street, they call it potential. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yes. Wow. So we want to know, why are some of us who are potential still single? Oh. Yes. All right. Dive right in. Number one, I'm going to just dive in. Mm -hmm. Number one is wrong foundations mm -hmm. about relationship. Hey, I, I know the streets is hard. Yeah. And then let me tag along this wrong foundations and false expectations. Do you know nowadays there are ladies or there are ladies? Let me just start with ladies. Mm -hmm. There are ladies. I had one actually saying. <laughs> That me that me must be a personal friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> At Mimi ni spolipo swezika de to your Charlie. The expectation is outrageous. Like there are women who would want to be paid for them to be in a relationship. Like the boyfriend pays the girlfriend. Yeah. What? 
Of course, if I'm paying the utilities, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. If I'm paying the, paying the bills. So, like, we have foundations of, like, if I have to be in a relationship, mm. my guy should be able to pay A, B, C, D. Mm. My shopping, my rent, my hair, my nails, my everything. That's the and wrong foundation. get money. Exactly. <laughs> so, when you get into a relationship mm. and then you find that the person you're looking forward to, to stay in a relationship mm -hmm. with doesn't come with what you expected, mm then you go out. Mm. So you find yourself, you are today in one relationship, tomorrow in another relationship. Mm. Those are the people you find them on social media. Not that they are not in a relationship, mm. but it's just kind of complicated. Mm. So basically having unrealistic expectations yes. because of the wrong foundation. Yes, and then foundations, let me just throw in this. Hey, listen to this. Um, I'm a Bible person. You know this guy called Samson? Mm -hmm. Yes. The expert of relationships. Why wow, that man dated a thousand women? Uh, but what I want to drive <laughs> from him is mm -hmm. this. You, you see, I love Jacob. Mm -hmm. When Jacob was in a dare situation, he used a pillow and he saw a vision about his life. But Samson used Delilah's thighs as a pillow and it costed him his oh, entire life. Samson. You're not talking of Solomon. No, Samson. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, if your foundation is messed up for, about relationship you mm. will always find yourself single because what you expect from a, a running relationship you can't get it mm. you can't get it so number one if you have to be in a relationship some of you you are single because of the foundations you come with mm. onto the relationship so you keep on moving from one relationship to another mm -hmm. that's why it's complicated you will always be single unless you define your foundations of what the relationship you wanted to get into. Mm. Wow. Wow. So basically, in short, people need to come in yes. with an open mind yes. to really start something, not yes. just because this is who I am, yeah. but this is who I should be mm. to make this relationship work. Let me throw in this. What is happening for you guys that you are watching out there, mm. the twin or similar thing? Most of times it happens with ladies. Mm. You begin to have these unrealistic expectations mm. and the good thing i'm sorry today i'm facing you ladies but you so much give us what we need to know that we shouldn't even be knowing mm. if you tell me you love ice cream and you give me the description of the ice cream you love mm. come on you're giving me a secret you're giving me a weapon that i can attack you with mm. And if I come with it, mm. of course, your arms will wide open, open wide. Oh, my God, you bought me my favorite. <laughs> of course. So it, it becomes like, uh, just make sure that your foundations are right, yeah, right when you're walking into that, if you want it to stay. But if mm. you don't define your foundations, you'll only find yourself single. Mm. Wow. Wow. So tell us more. Number two, let me just go on speed. Number two, there's this syndrome that people we have, I call it the hype syndrome. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so people who are so much addicted to the camera and the drama and the just bad things happening out there. Mm. Like, if your relationship doesn't have that hype, you know, nowadays we have the MCs and the DJ, everything is hyped up. Yeah. So there are people who have built their relationship around, uh, around the hype. You know where, like, before you select the guy you want to date, mm. you sample your friend, and they're like, yeah, 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 ako poa, mm. ako fiti, he's good, he's good. So you love that hype. Mm. So some people, we are so much addicted to the hype of the relationship that we don't really think this is not ours. Mm. So immediately when the hype drops, you're like, hey, maze, I don't know lose interest for your child. So some of you, you are still single because you build your relationship around hype. You enjoy the posting on social media. You enjoy that. That's what makes you to be in that relationship. Mm -hmm. If your friends can contribute to it and say like, you know what? Yeah, this is good. This is working. This is working. Mm -hmm. So apart from the hype, you cannot sustain that relationship. Mm -hmm. If it's not out in the open, you cannot sustain. So again, just, just going back to the foundation. So it's like you have this syndrome of like, Nilazima relationship, yangi kwena hype. So you are getting in, immediately the hype is taken away. 
you lose interest into that relationship yeah. and that's why now you find yourself you're moving from one relationship to another one relationship to another one relationship and if to this another. person finds somebody who loves hyping if this person because uh, you might find two people who love the hype but uh, you know life is built of seasons mm. the beauty of life is the mountains and the hills you encounter if you expect one thing from a relationship then you get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't expect that this person you love, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable to say this on telly, mm. your husband is not the same mm. every day. You are not the same every day. There are days you like happy. Mm. There are hours you're like just by yourself. Mm. Exactly. So if you're going to build your relationship based on what exists now, and then what if it doesn't happen tomorrow? Mm. So there are people who like that. Yes, I love the hype. Mm. I too love the hype. But I'm not going to best my relationship on that. Because mm. there are days it won't be. There are days you won't be the spot. Yeah. There are days you won't be the spotlight of the relationship. Mm. There are days you will post. How many times uh, I have a friend who like posted on Facebook. And then he found like three likes. And then one. It's like hey, you've changed. I was like, so to him, to her, sorry, it was a she, to her, from that day, she actually went and told the boyfriend, like, me, I'm not posting anything on online, mm. because she had centered the relationship within her, like, if, if the community accepts it, mm. then this is true. So there's a day the community won't accept it, so mm. what are you going to do? And most of the people, they have that. In these social media days where like everybody wants to like if i have a boyfriend if i have a girlfriend i'll post it online and what the online people say that's what matters within my yeah. relationship yeah. i feel good about it mm. if they say I mm. you question that and also what if they keep quiet you wonder what's up yes <laughs> so you see we cannot, most of the people, they are getting into a relationship with mm. that hype syndrome. Mm. And that's why you find majority of us, we are single. Because immediately you come into a relationship. Mm. And then when the hype goes down, you lose interest in the relationship mm. as well. And of course, the current generation is very media oriented. Yes. So, and actually it's issues with people out here at Tiwana Breaking Gap, Juni Postingi. Aha, it is exactly. even becoming a, a requirement. Ati, mimi ujoto wangu na ni post. When yes. we are talking about things, you know, I want you to be posting me, you know. Actually, people are even saying, uspo postiwa then how pend we and they are hiding you, you know. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you see, it's it's a hard thing. And that's, mm. trust you me, uh, we all know. Eh? Mm. You know, have you ever, like, asked yourself, there's this guy who was dating this Chile and then everything was beautiful. They were posting all over on Instagram, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp, sitters, everywhere. And then all of a sudden, nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. And guys are like, what happened? Mm -hmm. um, I say, life happened. Yeah. Yet because what? When the fame, when the hype goes down, mm -hmm. the relationship doesn't exist. Yeah. So if you want to stay in a relationship, sometimes don't build it on the hype. Mm -hmm. Don't build it on the hype. It goes away sometimes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So there needs to be a balance. Yes. There needs to be a balance because, of course, we also want to see how committed you are. Yeah. If you want to, to really see, it, the world has to see, of course, there's a change for you yeah. too. Mm -hmm. But again, it's not the main thing. It, it might not even need to happen as often. Yeah. yeah. Even once. In four months or in a year. I always tell, I always say that mm. if you have to demand it, then you don't deserve it. Mm. And most of the times, we demand to be loved, we demand to be pampered. Mm. So it comes as um, a demand, so it doesn't come from the heart. Mm. I will do it, I'll hype you up because you want me to do that. Mm -hmm. But now, when it doesn't come from my heart, that's when, when you realize that it wasn't coming from my heart. Mm. Of course, the level of commitment and responsibility to it mm. drops. When it drops, the relationship is already in jeopardy. Mm. And that's how most of us, Najipata, single. You know that right now, there are people who like don't believe in relationship. Mm. Like, uh, I, I saw a meme of, of like, 
when 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 you are asked are you in a relationship and then the head of this person you can't even yes. tell the face it's like oh, <laughs> Why, no, no 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 mm. i'm not because they are scared of that yes. because of this people build relationship on the wrong foundations yeah. on the wrong ideas and then that's why you find one to another today i'm here tomorrow i'm here today i'm here today mm. i'm here mm. please if you want to keep that relationship work on your foundations mm. don't build it along hype mm. it comes and goes mm. yeah. wow well so we've already talked about so much that concerns the current single people and i hope you're really looking at what your life has been based on what are your foundations are you the hype kind of person is social media and every kind of noise around you what dictates the decisions you make otherwise thank you for being with us this far we are going on a short break see you right after we are a product mm -hmm. of what we grew up hearing mm -hmm. or how we grew up seeing our adults or our satis interacting with money mm -hmm. children need to run mm -hmm. about money mm -hmm. from a narrow end so that they are able to relate with it mm -hmm. in the light way Hello guys, welcome back. It is still me and Prince here trying to really explain and understand why some of you are still single because there are some things that actually cause you not to raise to the next season and sometimes we are not aware of them. So we decided to make it clear and make you know why you are still single. So Prince, yes. carry on. Thank you. I think I will, I will actually draw in into one of the things that we talked last time I was here. Mm -hmm. Most of us, uh, we are still single because of just what we speak. Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you're calling relationships come and you're busy having sex out there. So if it says come, why, why are you actually yeah. involved into it? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we come, we want a relationship to work, but how we speak, I'm just telling, if you are a believer, come on, whether you are a Christian or you're not a Christian, mm. the things you say about you, the positive or the negative energy you bring into space mm. affects you. So most of us, we are actually so much bitter about our past relationship that didn't work mm. so we are bitter you know someone says like uh, well experience is the best teacher mm -hmm. but i always say don't let don't learn through experience yeah your own experience mm. learn from other people's experience yes and some of us we are still single until today because of the power of the time mm. we are busy if you see someone in a relationship like to town or two mm. it won't work i told you this is a scam so if you keep on calling it a scam mm. then how do you expect it to work mm. you call it a scam and you still utajipodor and then you want someone to actually look at you mm. there are guys out there who like yeah me me swear is dead dead squeezy demako in a sudden let me not just like put someone in a box but you keep on saying that you can't date people who are like this. Mm. And then you see you're speaking to yourself. Mm. Sometimes you don't choose who to love. Yeah. Love is a love is, is a hard thing. Mm. But if you are coming to to love and you don't have this positive energy about it, mm. then of course it's going to be a scam to you. Yeah. So if you don't want it, if you want it to work for you, if you don't want to be single, oh yeah, begin talking positive about yeah. the relationship. Because mm, you can't be talking this and expecting the opposite. Exactly. Especially, you know, the common cliches. For instance, let me say this one. You know, representing ladies, you know, men are dogs, men Thank cheat. So Thank you. When I'm there and I feel like I'm a genuine man, how do I really, you know? So I, I definitely see you have a very bad view of men. I don't feel like I have an opportunity in your life. Exactly. So, yeah, there are things we say that uh, put Peter people say, off. Peter said in a certain scripture of the Bible, he said, like, what I feared most mm. has befallen me. And then sometimes the very thing that we really don't want it to happen to us, mm. it's because of what, sometimes we may not even speak it, but it's inside us. Mm. You know, have you ever, like, I, I have a friend who, like, he told me, he's like, I have a friend who told me, 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 
go bigger. Mm. I mean, if 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 the mind you are coming into a relationship with, like it's like they girls or uh, ladies are go bigger. Mm. Oh yeah, look, we are in a shopping shop. Mm. Mm? When you go to the shop. Look for the shoe that fits you. Yeah. If you're 41 like me, mm. find 41. Mm. Achana na 45, ikai uko. Achana na 38, ikai uko mm. Stop test. Stop telling other men your company ladies are got bigger. Mm. And ladies, stop saying your company men are dogs. Mm. Yeah, even dogs, ukipea chakula vizuri, it responds to you. Mm. Yes. So, <laughs> the, beliefs, the, the beliefs you come into with. Mm. So, just rush, I'm going to attach that. Mm. So, the beliefs, the beliefs. It like, what are you talking about? What are you confessing? Mm. Because if you confess wrong, you will stay single. Yeah. And then, Utawana, every weekend. You know, the irony is like, you are saying, uh, you, you are saying, you're talking bad about relationship. And that's why you're still single. Mm. But every Saturday we have weddings. All right. Wow. Wow. I mean, speaking and doing, literally, don't, you know, they go like, if you speak life, and as you're saying, like Peter did, you know, fear and faith attract the same measure. Yes. If you fear things to a certain level, they'll attract it. Yeah. If you have faith that things will work out well, definitely you attract the same. Yes. Yeah, so... Yeah. And and the nurse will push you. The last one. Mm -hmm. This is this is. I want you to pay attention. Casual sex. Mm. Most of you are still single, or are in single relationship. Oh, this one we will come talk about it maybe some other time. Mm. Do you know there are people who are in a relationship but they are single? Mm. Yeah. I'll explain that later. But most of us we are still single because of the casual sex. Mm -hmm. You know, out here, guys have just taken sex to be so casual. One of them, again, if I go back to Samson, mm -hmm. Samson took uh, sex so casually mm -hmm. until it landed him into the camp of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Let me not preach, but let me explain this. I believe sex is a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. And every time you are having a sexual bond with someone, every push and really draw, is a release of something and taking something. So if you are always meeting this guy, you are always for the jamas. Every cut that opens up, mm. you push in. For the ladies, every 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 man that you see penetrates you. Mm. Sex is spiritual. Let me just prove this. The reason I'm saying that. God is the uh, God is the author of sex itself. Mm. And God is a spirit. So everything that comes from God is spiritual. So if sex originates from God, then sex is spiritual. Mm. And anything you brush a spirit with, mm. it gives you something. So every time you're having a casual sex, there is something either this person is giving you and there is something you're taking. Mm. So sometimes you have these casual sex where like you haven't known the kind of an energy. Every time you're having sex is an exchange of energies. It's either you are getting a positive vibe or you are getting a negative vibe. And then you're meeting with this guy because you're drunk, you know, yeah. and then you're like, man, this is just sex. Even if you're wearing a condom, the spirit doesn't yes. actually uh, exist on the wall because I'm having a condom, so mm. I'm blocking this. No. Mm. And most of the people, we are still single because one time we had some casual sex and something was taken away from us. Mm. You were just okay. You had good beliefs. Mm -hmm. you, you, you knew you, you wanted, you knew what you wanted in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden you hook up with this guy who has negative vibe, negative energy. Mm -hmm. And then you bond with him. Something is taken away. All of a sudden you begin talking negative about what? Relationship. Mm -hmm. And then you don't know. Some of us, we are still single simply because of that one 10 15 minutes pleasure of sex that we did mm -hmm. without thinking mm -hmm. yeah and like you're saying there's no condom of the heart no. it is an act as yeah. long as you engage in it your heart is still being connected so yeah. Yako, haitakwa protected in the no, end. No, no. yeah wow so thank you very much yeah. i just want you to maybe give out in conclus in conclusion yeah. just you know give out the best you can to these guys and just talk to them and tell them how they can just you know adjust their lives for the betterment of everything 
I don't know how I can sum it up in one word, but what I can say is uh, nobody want to stay single forever. At least every one of us, we want to be in a relationship that we can be loved, mm -hmm. be appreciated in it. But if your foundations are not right of what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. I'm a business person, and before I get into a legitimate deal, I do research mm -hmm. of the things and I put down. The Bible says that before you build a house, Calculate the cost. Mm -hmm. So most of us, we are getting into a relationship and we want it to last, but we don't calculate the cost. Mm. If you are willing to get into that relationship and never at any point become single. Mm. And I'm, I'm talking this from a point of, I've done mistakes about relationship. Mm -hmm. I've done mistakes of relationship. Mm. I've let go relationship that I shouldn't have let go. Mm. Okay? So get your foundation right. I think yeah. that's what I can live with that. Wow. Because if you get your foundation right, mm. then you will enjoy that. Wow. I'm in a relationship right now, dating for three years, and it's been awesome. Mm. It's, it's so been it's possible, guys. Yes. It's possible. Yeah. So please don't lose hope. I know nowadays people want to be single moms. People want to be, you know... And as long, by the way, there is no celibacy with just being single and sleeping around. If you want to be alone all your life, you have to be celibate. And, and, and that's actually sorry. Mm -hmm. I know we are timed that, but that is actually the wrong people, mm -hmm. the wrong notion of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Majority of the people who are enjoying the pleasure of sex outside the confines of marriage mm -hmm. are these people who call themselves single. single. Yeah. Because if you want to be single, then just like you're saying, mm. yes. You have to be alone. Like yeah. that is it. The Bible talks of being single all your life and it talks of being alone, being yourself, not engaging in the benefits of relationships and calling yourself single. So um basically we are just saying that if you want to be in a relationship, go the whole way and commit to it. Definitely it works. As long as you follow the right principles and you work together, trust you me, it will all go down well. Otherwise, because of time, we have to finish up right there and definitely we will continue having these discussions time and again and because of you viewers, we shall keep interacting. See you again next time. Thank you very much. Keep it Wema TV every Tuesday at 9.45 p.m.